Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kamaj Inn. Today, we're building the bridge. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hey everybody, hope you're doing good. Today we have a project going on. I have to rebuild the bridge, so I figured I'd show you that. There's a bog over here on one of the neighboring properties that when you go down this trail here, it's backed up. There was a bridge there, but it was just logs laid in the ditch. So it's creating a dam and my trail is getting flooded out. So today I'm gonna build a proper bridge where it goes over it and not in it and make it look good. Most of the bridges around here are just over four foot wide. They're all gonna be extended to six to eight foot wide. I intend to get a side-by-side -side up here or an Argo or something just to make life a little easier to get around up here. Anyways. All right, so here's the wood that I milled yesterday. Here are the bridge supports that I want to use. This is what's currently here. As you can see, it's just logs laid in there and it's slowing the water flow down. So all that water that's in the bog over there is rising because of the melt and coming through here and stopping. The trail on both sides is pretty saturated from the water. So I'm gonna pull this all up here in a minute, get rid of that, lay down my support beams going across and start planking it out. Give me a moment and I'll set the camera up. All right, so in this area, the water actually had come up over onto the trail uh, probably about three or four days prior. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to build this bridge, make it a little bit drier, make the flow from this bog go a little bit better, and to protect my trails. The trails are already kind of bad, and I needed to make them better. Rebuilding these bridges is going to be a big thing for up here for me. Now I suspect that the bog actually has a spring inside of it. The water is always crystal clear and never seems to go down on the level. It does go up, of course, you know, we have snow melt, but it never really goes down. So my, sus my suspicion is that it does have a spring somewhere inside of it. Um, when I was walking around it in a few locations, I thought I saw an upwelling, which usually will denote a spring coming up. It's not on my property, so I can't really explore it to see if maybe I can get water out of it but it's good to know it's always there if it isn't spring. All right, I know somebody's gonna ask, so I'll get, tell you guys that right now. My sidearm is an 1858 black powder revolver. It's a little different from most. This one here, I got a custom built mold designed by a friend of mine named Kaido, and it shoots a 220 grain slug, basically, is what it comes down to. That's actually, I think it's, 0.457 on the size, so it's a little bit bigger than normally what you would find in this pistol. The reason is, is when you push the, the slug in, it actually shaves off a nice ring or two around it and gives you a better seal. I still use a little bit of boar butter or lard on top of it so I don't get crossfires. But this pistol is hard hitting. I've hit targets all the way out to 50 yards with it without a problem. I have taken a couple mid-sized hogs, you know, 150 to 250 pound hogs down in Florida with it. I've seen guys take much larger hogs with it. Um, being a pretty good shot, I don't really have a problem carrying this and you know worrying about black bears. Brown bears, on the other hand, I'm gonna be turning tail running and spraying pepper spray all over the place. You know, hopefully I don't season myself. Um, but this pistol is, is really nice. I've been, had it for 15, 20 years and I enjoy shooting it. Not sure where the camera cut out, but here we go again. All right, periodically you'll be hearing a, like a bell. That's my bear bell, as I call it, my dinner bell. It does help alert the bears when I'm around. They don't want to eat me, so they're going to hear it and generally kind of wander off in the other direction. So there you go. I use my Hudson Sawyer sawmill to mill all these boards and for the bridge supports as well. It's a hell of a little sawmill. I'll be doing a review on it here sometime soon. I purchased it from the gentleman that owned the property prior. 
he didn't want to sell it at first, but I finally convinced him to sell it to me. And it's been an asset up here. I've done a lot of milling over the last few months, and to the point I've got to get a couple more blades for it, and or buy a sharpener or find somebody that can sharpen it for me. So there we go. Bridge is done. I'll add a couple pieces on both sides to help rise it up. I will add more screws once I have some more deck screws. I didn't think I'd have enough, but I did it anyways. Anyways, there it is. Finished bridge. Water in the uh, fog drain has actually gone down a little bit. And now it's flowing. Before it was not. So that's it for today. Three more to do. Uh, two of them are just going to be adding material onto them to make them a little wider. They're already pretty strong, but they're just too narrow, so I'm going to add a little bit on each side. One of the other ones is a total build. There's not really a bridge there. It's just a couple more logs laid down again, just like this one was. So I've got to mill out probably another six supports and then probably another 40 or 50 planks to go across all the bridges to make them wider and more sturdy. All right, let me uh, test this bridge out, see how it goes. That's it in a nutshell. I'm just going to add a few pieces at the very edge, the leading edge, and we'll be all right. I'll uh, be making a lot more videos. I've had a lot of people asking me to start again. Um, as I have time, my focus is getting the house done, and then, then I can really focus on doing this stuff if that's what people want. It seems like it is. But uh, let me walk you down this way. I'll show you the, uh, the other bridge that needs to be worked on. This will probably be the last one I redo. This one's in decent shape. It's just too narrow. I like it about another two foot wider. Creek is running great. It's too bad it's not a year round. I put a hydro system in. But anyways. That's it for today. I've got to take the wheeler down to the tracks with the trailer and pick up my sawmill extension. I found one locally up here, so I'm happy about that. Got it for a hundred and something dollars less than it normally cost, plus shipping. So by the time you get it up here, you're probably looking at about seven, eight hundred dollars shipped. So, anyways, talk to y'all later. So this is the third bridge. This is part of the lower trail that leads to the back of the property and the second bridge and to where the spring is. You can see the water is flowing really well and everything is getting green. All right, on to the next bridge. So this is bridge number four. And it's gonna be a rebuild complete. Needs to be about two foot wider and a span needs to be longer. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry there's no music or anything like that. I've got to get my setup for uh, doing videos again. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and have a great day.